It's did you do it? It's Wednesday, and we're running out of time. Naughty Beaver and Mr. MMBBB333 reported on uh, the sun disappearing over Siberia on July 20th at about 11.30 a.m. Siberia time. Now, if you go to the Himawari 8 at the Colorado State.edu website, you only get about seven or eight days in the archives to go digging. We're running out of time. I'm just dying to know if that, uh, that sun disappearing act showed up on the Himawari 8. Could some of you guys please go check it out? Um, they've got me under the censorship. They shut me down at uh, July 19th about 11.30 at night, Eastern Standard Time. This occurred the following morning. Now every time they shut me, every time they shut me down, I gotta believe that there's something uh, transiting or there's something occurring that they don't want me to see. Please go check it out, MORE 8. You can go to the Real Time website or Colorado State and uh, check the archives. I don't know what band or channel you'll see it in, but the uh, solar eclipse on August 21st was witnessed on the uh, GO-16 satellite, so this uh, this big round black shadow in Siberia yes, uh, on the 20th should, should be uh, seen. So please uh, go check it out and leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know what you find. Also, if you could, check the Hudson Bay, see if those low clouds are still uh, still hanging around, see if that boy is still steaming. We got that igneous, uh, the, uh, got that volcanic area up there, and then we've also got that hot spot for meteor tracks. I think when the, uh, when the Earth was still in its semi-molten state, we probably had a meteor uh, event occur up there, and it probably, I don't know, it may have pierced the, the mantle of the Earth, and you know, entered the the actual core. I don't know. I mean, there's an anomaly up there, a gravity anomaly up there that's different. Uh, I don't pay no never mind to those wires up there. I just love looking at them. Did you do it?